So here we are, the day has come, me and Gary versus each other on the road. Um, I'm going to be honest, it's going to be a bit of a short one for me today. It's uh, midday uh, where I am and uh, I'm only going to be working until about 7 o'clock tonight. So uh, yeah, fun and games today. So on that note. I'm starting off in Formby and I've just got myself a job so I'm on my way off to Manchester Airport so Gary where are you going to be starting off at today so let's have a little talk about Gary's last video he seemed a little bit frustrated and that's the thing about this job it can be so goddamn frustrating but the thing is I'm kind of glad in a way that I'm stuck to a little kind of area whereas Gary's got this whole vast area because he went through so many different postcodes and still didn't really get the jobs whereas if I'm sitting on the rank I can at least get a couple of say three pound jobs four pound jobs in in an hour even the private hire firm that I work for in Formby I can still probably get more than what Gary got through traveling around so really that is kind of a frustrating kind of thing with Uber the fact that he went through all these different areas and still didn't really get the jobs but does that mean that the local taxi firms weren't busy I think they probably were but the problem with the local taxi firms these days is we are still all very short on numbers and that is still a killing factor for a lot of the small taxi firms out there for the firm that I work for in Formby we're crying out for drivers we don't have enough night drivers you know but we certainly have enough day drivers but you can't make your money sometimes on working nine to five on this job you've got to put the hours in and I think that's what a lot of people don't get they just don't get the fact that you've got to work longer hours and yes it can take a toll on yourself and it can take a toll you know on relationships and with your family because you've got to put in the sacrifice to sort of you know you're not going to see your wife for 12 14 hours of the day because you're busy on this job and the thing is I'm sick to death of hearing people moan about it we all know the streets are made of gold and we all know you know there's bigger and better things out there you know and stuff like that that's great but I still wouldn't change this job you know what I mean and lucky enough I've got a wife who very understanding and knows that you know I've got to put the hours in because she knows down the line you know what I mean we'll get a nice all day out of it and you know I'll spend plenty of time with the kids so yeah this job can be frustrating which is understandable but let's just hope that Gary's having us all like a less frustrating day today shall we 
So folks, how are we going? Just to let you know, I think I'm gonna have an early day today. I know I was gonna wait for about like seven o'clock, but it's getting close to that now anyway, so I might actually call it quits, really. And uh Yeah. I wonder how Gary's doing. Well let me tell you what I've been up to. I've had the pleasure of doing an airport, another airport, and another airport. So I think I might actually be winning this competition today. So roughly I've made just over 200 pounds in three jobs so yeah I think I'm gonna call that a day so I'm gonna go home now and I'm going to go watch a film I think and maybe have a sip of some aviation gin with some lemonade in it Gary what are you going to be working for now because I'm going to go home so this is where you're probably going to have Gary for the next few hours now with his next few lots of videos interrogating you like he always does yes that's quite what Gary will do but we love him we love Gary we really do but before I hand you back to Gary folks is something I want to get off my chest. If you're a customer out there, try and realise this. If you're going to get into a minibus, a seven-seater, an eight-seater, and it comes up to your house, please note one thing. On the private hire fees, and I don't know if this goes across the board but it's just what we do up in our place if I turn up at someone's house between one and four people you're going to pay the bog standard taxi rate wherever you're going to go if you get more people in so I'm on about if you get five to well I can take seven people so if you get the seven people in, or five to seven people, you then pay what's known as a bus rate. Which means, quite frankly, you pay a little bit more. So don't expect when you pull, or when we pull up at you at the pub or your house, and you look and you go, oh look they've sent a minibus well that's fine we can get as many people in now as we want and think that you're only going to pay the one single rate for it you're not you're going to be paying a bus rate because the one thing I can't stand is customers who say you're ripping me off I'm not ripping you off mate that's just the way things go so on that note that's my sort of like little rant for the day now like I said I'll hand you back to Gary, and Gary can then tell you exactly how he's doing for the rest of the day, and if he can actually meet, or even beat, my score, which is going to be hard. I mean, come on, it's like what, nearly four o'clock? So for four hours, I've done three airports and made another 200 quid. Not a bad day's work, really, for four hours. So... On that note, folks, I'm going to go. But as I am going to start doing now on all of my sort of like little podcasts of mine, check out the new Jurassic Park film. It's a good watch. You'll enjoy it. It's quite fun to see them all in it. So on that note, that's my sort of like little film of the week for you to go and watch. 
and stay tuned to the LNG Taxi Podcast as we will keep on vlogging and do what we can. So Gary, it's back to you. All right, people.